Hi, my name is Matthew David Goodwin, and I'm the author of the Latinx Files. In this book, I explore the various ways that the space alien is depicted in science fiction written by U.S. Latinas Latinos. What I show is that the space alien is a versatile character, that it can depict uh, immigrants who are sympathetic and yet powerful. It can express our highest aspirations for society, and it can express our greatest fears. And, and so I like to uh, describe the space alien using a line from, from Walt Whitman, I am large, I contain multitudes. So uh, thinking about the space alien as a multitude inspires us to uh, look at the new ways that Latinx authors are using it. As humans began to peer through uh, telescopes into space, we began to populate the universe. And, and even though there's an infinite variety of ways the space alien can be depicted, it was constricted uh, by the systems of control of race and migration in the United States and Europe. And, and so throughout the centuries, the, the, the space alien has been the slippery position and different groups come into it. I mean, often in very racist and, and uh, xenophobic ways. Um, so I wrote this book to, to explore the ways that Latinx authors are dealing with the space alien and, and how they're working with the, the, the tradition, but also working against that legacy. The challenge of this work is that it demands an attention to the scholarship of both science fiction and to Latino studies. Uh, but, but the good news is that there's a growing recognition of the importance of diverse science fiction. And then in Latino studies, there is also a growing recognition that, that we need science fiction to talk about the future and to talk about technology. Uh, but this book really is not just for scholars, it's for students and really anyone curious. Um, it's a, it's a pretty thin book, not a lot of footnotes, and uh, in my mind, it's meant to provoke a conversation um, uh, around this topic and rather than be the final word on the subject. The cultural figure of the space alien has long been intertwined with uh, political discourse. And recently, there's uh, been an attempt to uh, take out the term alien from immigration law. This, this is very interesting. Um, and, and part of the explanation is that there's been this sort of back and forth between uh, the figure uh, of the space alien and, and the immigrant. So uh, originally the term alien is, is meant stranger or foreigner, it's of ancient origin. Um, and when people began to write about space aliens, they didn't use that term. That only uh, uh, came later in the, in the 20th century. Uh, however, as science fiction became more popular, the term alien uh, became more connected to that figure of the space alien. So now, if you call someone an alien, um, it has a kind of uh, dehumanizing effect. So it's like calling uh, uh, someone a space alien. So it's, it's saying that they're not human. And actually, this is the, the specific reason that the administration gives for uh, uh, changing this particular ter uh, terminology. Ultimately, one of the great virtues of this figure of the space alien is the planetary uh, perspective that, that it can offer us, the cosmic perspective that it can give us. And, and through this perspective, we can imagine ourselves as children of Earth, rather than uh, fixing our identities through systems of control. And even further, we can imagine ourselves as inhabitants of a collective shared universe. And that means that space is not space, it's our home.